That is yours alone to use. Eight o'clock? Eight fifteen. Keep on practicing. Keep that out of sight. Tustin, my tests worked. It will scale up. We can make our own fresh water. We don't have now to... Now is not the time. That's it. You know what? I think you are holding some back for yourselves. <clears throat> or else you're selling it outright. I can assure you, sir. We haven't. That's right. You know why? Because the great Yen Fan owns this ocean and he graciously allows you and your people to live on it. And in turn, all he asks is that you pay a tribute. And Tony gives you fresh water. I don't think you're keeping up your end of the bargain. <coughs> Mr. Scream, sir. We need more water. Double your tribute by tomorrow. We have exhausted all the resources nearby. It will take time to gather more. But without water, it's impossible. So what you're saying is, this amount of water? Isn't enough for the population you have here? Exactly, sir. Oh. Hmm. By the authority of the warlord Ian Fen, I will reduce your population by 10%. Take uh, five, six healthy ones. Girls. Well, this isn't the time to fight. You want to honor your father? Stay alive. Well, what about you? I never had a father. Mr. Scream, sir, that's not what I meant. Double your tribute by tomorrow if you want your people back. You can take me, but release my people. Prepare for the wrath of the Ian Fan. Gentlemen, please. And now, the retribution of Warlord Ian Fan! Where are you 
you going? The fun's just started. Now hear me. You will have double tribute by tomorrow, or your people will become the permanent property of Warlord Ian Fenn. Thank you very much. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm taking this. You can't. I can. What about the sharks? I'll go deeper. They won't see me. Have you even soloed in that thing before? I made a promise to look after Willow. I'm keeping that promise. <laughs> For. Let's go.
stay here much longer. No further. We can go deeper than they like to. To the tribute by tomorrow, I assure you, the people of Paritoa have been sufficiently motivated. Oh, well, I heard that the ship bearing the components that we need for the wave energy should be dark clean and not any day. Now, now, with those components, we can go over to kinetic energy from the ocean. We don't have to use people anymore, human power. The sooner we can end this inefficient situation, the better. We'll still need captives, but the sharks. All right, keep going. is too powerful to fight. What about our people? If we do as he says, they will be returned. You don't know that. Jamar, you're young. But when you're older, you will think differently. They need us to power the machines. Killing us is not in their interest. Besides, we need the water they provide. If a few of us are to be sacrificed so that the rest of us can live, then that's a worthy sacrifice. What have you got? Where'd you get those? There are benefits to being the one who cleans the oysters.
sunstone. I've only seen one of those before. Who gave you that job? Was it your father? Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Did he teach you the old ways? He taught me how to navigate by position of the sun. But did he teach you the secret of shark calling? You know, he was a shark caller. Most of us here survived the first days of the flood because of him. He died when I was young. This is all he left me. There must be a reason he left it with you. You have to help us. in the bag. None of your business. We don't allow weapons of contraband in here. Oh, really? Uh, what's that? This. It's only ceremonial. So's the bag. Give me that. You're asking for trouble! Hurry. What do we do now? Keeping this from the trouble. Do you know what that was? Wait. You're Anne Aldrin. Think I'll worse. We have an opportunity. A unique charter. We need... You need a few more bags like that to start that conversation. I'm not interested. When I say you're finished on it. That's my tenth run today. I'm wringing this place dry. How long before all these suckers realize they can't win? He'll just have to be a little more creative. I work best at 50 fathoms. I do wet work, not dry. You're the idea man. I'm the free diver. And right now, you're not really adding much to that equation. I got me ear to the ground for a big score. There's a freighter inbound with some serious cheddar. In the meantime, we're gonna need some more pocket money, honey. From now on, you'll be getting your own pocket money. We're done. <laughs> That was pretty good for an amateur. I suppose you want to challenge me. No. I want to offer you more for your time. An opportunity to get out from under whatever hold that low life has on you. What kind of con is this? It's no con. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that before. Listen, someone with your skills shouldn't be wasting it on drinking money. Do you want to spend the rest of your life with your head in a bucket? 
How about I put your head in a bucket? No offense. But you're better than this. Go on. You know Hawksbill Fortress? We're gonna crack it open. What do you say? I'd say you're buying me a drink. Nothing for real? Or is it just for show? Depends who's asking. That would be me. That case is real. What you did. What did you see? You pinged the shells. Excuse me? You know, like a, a dolphin would. Acoustics and sonar. We're not underwater. What really struck me is the skill it must have taken to miniaturize that. What do you want? I have a job opportunity. I'm gonna tie it. I noticed you gave away your winnings. If you really want to strike back against the big man, this is the job for you. I'll give you five minutes. So you want us to help you break into Hawksville to rescue your people? That's right. Edgar here will use his sonic tech to ping the fortress. We can use his data to map out the structure, work out where all the captives are, and see what other threats we may face. Toby, in his deep sea salvage suit, will go in, crack open the weak spot in the fortress, and that'll give us a win. What will I do? You're a free diver. Your job will be to lure the sharks away from the fortress. You get the wall of the sharks to chase you to a terminal depth, giving us the clear shot of infiltrating from below. The sharks will follow you, but only to a point. We discovered that when we were not submersible. Once you get to a certain depth, they won't be able to follow you anymore. And um, <clears throat> what's in it for us? Mm. Yeah. I'm sure that uh, some of this commands a high price in the outer atolls, but uh, I'm not sure if the rewards match the risks. The warlord's been gathering tribute from the neighboring villages for as long as we can remember. He's got a ton of loot, fuel, and his own desalination machine. The warlord has the means to make fresh water, more than any of us could ever need. Once we have that, we can name our price anywhere. Okay, I got a question. Am I gonna be able to blow things up? Now hear me out, cause uh, you know, uh, dive salvage, that's 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 my specialty, right? But uh demolition, boom, that's my reason to try, like the French say. <laughs> d'être. I know my French. Raison d'être. <laughs> anyway, do you think I Toby <laughs> be able to give the big boom boom? If the opportunity presents itself, it's likely. Mm -mm, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, me too. This is against my better judgment entirely. I'm in. Excellent. Now all we need is a boat. So you haven't lost any limbs yet. That's encouraging. Thanks for helping us. You don't belong here. We want to hire you and your crew. I'll give you the same answer as before. Not interested. You haven't even heard our offer. I don't need to. One look in you two tells me everything I need to know. 
you don't know the first thing about us. Mm -hmm. You're fishermen, right? From some little village, God knows where. From the looks of it, Karatoa. Someone did you wrong. Came here with a big plan to make things right. Seen it before. Big plans from little people end up getting people killed. And I, for one, am not interested in that today. So I suggest you return to your home while you still can. And next time you need saving, I might still be around.
bluffing. You didn't see what they did on Karatoa. They have an army of sharks. If what you said is true, when they get this stuff back, they will no longer need the hostages. The Scargo will make the machine run without humans. What will they need the people for then? We are in charge of this operation. We hired you. You are gambling with our people's lives. No, we're saving them. I'm sure that was your motive. You need to bring this cargo back right now. Yeah, it's too late. What? You can stop back, it's too late. The mistakes you're making will cost you. Mr. Scrim, sir, I didn't know the cargo was removed. This was not my intention. This is some kind of foobar snafu that we are rectifying right now. Release the cargo or the captives will die. Don't do anything. I'm getting your cargo back. This wasn't me. No, it's, it's too late. What are you talking about? Boom. Boom! I put explosives on the Pope, man! That's what we're trying to do, right, guys? I mean, overthrow the warlord. Look, you told me if, if an opportunity presented itself, and I took initiative. You need to get your people off the boat now! Five, Boom. four, three, Boom. Get up. two, one. You're dead. You're all dead. Stand by for a message from the warlord Ian Fenn. People of Korator, you've chosen to defy me. Now you must pay the consequences. The ocean is my dominion. And now I shall use it to smite my enemies. What's wrong with the system? How do we get back online? Well, the connections are all good. Something else is affecting the sharks. Uh, take him out. Bring him in. Take her.
When you think of me, I'll always be with you. Is the system working? Everything is a go. It's her. Bring her out. Somehow, you're interfering with this, aren't you? Take her away. No! Willow? Timor? Willow! Timor! Listen, I want you to bring back all that was taken. Or all your people will die. I will. I want you to meet Scrim at Naru in one hour. And if you want your people to live, make sure all the cargo is intact. I need everything back that you stole right now. Hawksbill, your cargo will be at Naru Docks with the Harbor Master. Everything will be there. Is this everything? That's it then. Any agreement? Sion, let's go. We're still with you if you want. With what? There's nothing to be with. We're giving up. Sion and I are going back to Karatoa. This whole thing was a mistake. No, it wasn't. I heard what they did over the radio. Exactly. So you know why we have to go. An hour ago, I would have agreed with you. Not now. Fine. You have your little crusade against the warlord. Leave us out of it. Listen. You know when they get these parts, they'll have no reason to keep the hostages alive. They will use them for shark food. They will be able to make fresh water without human labor. What use will you be of to them? We have this one window now to rescue your people. And once that is done, if we succeed, what then? We fight. All of us. We made the mistake of letting the warlord grow powerful. We allowed this menace to grow while everyone sat around and did nothing. He couldn't have grown so powerful without everyone turning a blind eye. We have to get him, now, while we still can. Listen to them, they're right. Okay. If I agree to this, no more lone wolf stuff. We're a team. We do this together, or not at all. Nobody blows up anything without my say-so. No hidden explosives, no stealing. Can we do that? I'm currently pinging at 2,576 fathoms, and that sounds like a Xinjiang tropical silicon.
nice. Confiscate anything from the warlord, we split it. After fuel and expenses. Oi! Warlord wants to see her. Now! Well, if you don't want to talk, that's not going to help anybody. Now, you're from Koratola, right? But that is not your original clan, is it? When the world was hit with a flood not long before your time, people were scrambling to get on shore of mountaintops you could still see above the sea line. The masters of the mountains pushed the people back into the sea. The battles were bloody and the blood drew the sharks. I was trapped in a group of thousands of people and we were scrambling and trying to get on that last piece of land, but it was already occupied and we were pushed back into the water and the water was filled with sharks and it was a massacre. But there was, there was one man who did something amazing. One man who crawled above and then with some power he had, some source of energy, he was able to turn the sharks back. And a few of us, a small group, were able to survive. It didn't mean anything because when the sea calmed and we looked around, everything had gone underwater. I never forgot this man. It was his ability that, that inspired me to create my system of dominion over the sharks. A system that I believed was unique to the world until today. How do you do it? How do you stop the sharks? I didn't do anything. So how does it work? It's nothing. It's only a keepsake. Don't. If you share your information with me, the world is yours. Tell me how it works, or I will send my sharks to Kodator, and they will destroy that settlement and every living person in it. Grim, once you pick up the cargo, I want you to head to Cotatoa and wait for my orders. Please don't do it. You can do it. It's easy. I can't. All you have to do is give me what I want. I can't. My assistant just came up with an excellent idea. If we cannot get it from you directly, we can get it indirectly. I'd like you to meet my favorite guest here, Tiger Shark. It's amazing what they can eat. They've found things like license plate, a reindeer, suit of armor in their stomach. So I'm sure she'll have no trouble with you. <laughs> you know, and I also heard that she's hungry. close proximity. Now we just need to find out if it works at a distance. Take her off the float. Bring her up here. 
I'm in position. Wait for my command. Bring her here. We're standing by on your command. If you want to save your people, you're going to have to do more. Now's your chance. Sir, I may have a way to uncover a method. What is it? But if she won't freely divulge the information we need, there are ways to get it out of her. See, all I need is uh, to record her brainwaves while she's interacting with the sharks. Then we can look through the recordings and maybe I can decipher her method. You have my permission to do it. Well, I, I mean, it's going to take a, a minute. In theory, it should be pretty simple, but it's going to take... Just be quick about it. Without her knowledge, this thing is useless. What I want is more than just how she did it, but I want to know what her capabilities are. We can see she could be defensive, but can she also attack? If you want to save your people, you need to do more. I'm not here to collect tribute. I am here under orders of Ian Fenn. On his command, I will release our army of sharks who will destroy your city. And this is a rightful action by the authority of Ian Fenn, as he does have dominion of all those living on the water. So nothing you can say or do will stop me. Prepare to die. If you could just be patient for a moment, I'm waiting for his command. Thank you. give you a task. I'm going to ask you to have the sharks attack a target.
take him out now! About 30 seconds, and then we have to get out. We need to get closer. I'll do what I can. But this better work. This is not an exact science. What do you mean, not exact science? Calibrate yourself. How much you calibrate that machine of yours? Shit on civil play. That vessel! We still have to go through the plan. I have a pretty good view here. I'm not certain, but this looks like a place where the prisoners are kept. What about a way in? This is where the shark's coming, and it's a portal. It is not a good place to enter. Is there any other option? Unless they walk you through in the front door. No. And that's the way I go. 
you. Toby's gone. I'm getting Will out. They're too far out. Halt the trebuchet. Think you can get away from me? I've got something else for you. <laughs> I have a task for you. I want you to prepare the kamikaze shark. Yeah, sir. Ha. This thing isn't exactly shark proof. I'll have to be fast. This is suicide. You got any better ideas? Didn't think so. We've come this far. I'm not giving up now. We have to get in there. What are you going to do when you get inside? Might have a my time. I'm taking the whole place down, starting with the power. Trust me. They won't know what hit him. get back. Let me worry about Something is coming our way. What is it? I shouldn't be able to detect sharks on the sonar because they don't have air bladders. It's definitely a shark, but it's peculiar. And it's moving towards us. Sion? Sion, take the wheel! Ship! A 
nearly on target. She's doing something. Bring them all to me. Kid. Getting lots of data here. It's amazing.
Control. Timor, what about the desalination machine? We should take the key components. It's the one thing of value here. We'll secure Skirm's boat. You go help them. Okay, okay. Come see. Come. That's not true. I don't even know how or, or what I did. I, I can't do it. The power resides within you. The amulet resonated with your power. It was never the source. You are a shark collar. You must believe in yourself.
When you went out on your own, many thought to banish you. We would have lost everything if it wasn't for what you have done. Thank you. Thank you all. May the ocean embrace you. This belongs to the shark oil. It would have made your father proud. Thank you. Now your real training can begin. If you are to follow the path of the callers, are you ready? Yes. Can we begin? You know, you're gonna need to up your skills if you want a chance with her now. Thanks for the encouragement. It's just an observation. I mean, what can you do? You may recall the, uh, legend of the fisherman who took on the baddest warlord in the ocean. Heard that one before? Sounds like a tall tale to me. He didn't do it alone. He had a lot of help from his friends 